New details now on an expected deportation crackdown. The Trump administration preparing a major mission this weekend. Miami on the short list of places it could happen. The operation will likely begin on Sunday. It's part of an effort to round up one million people who've been ordered deported. CBS Force Ty Russell just spoke to one woman who's extremely concerned about her future. He's live in Miami with her emotional story. Ty. Well, Elliot and Lauren, there's definitely a large fear in South Florida tonight. Many people, understandably, didn't want to go on camera. However, one woman did talk to us, and she is now planning to go into hiding for the next week or so to hopefully avoid the raids. For 20 years, this mother has been living in South Florida, and she has been in the shadows for half her time here after she was ordered to leave the country. She couldn't hold back her tears. She also didn't want her name released or her face shown, fearing she will be found and deported. It's not a life for anyone. I can't even go back to Nicaragua because I have a person that since I came out from there, the government doesn't like me. This mom of 14 and 25-year-old daughters works as a housekeeper and spent years learning English and civics, and she has exhausted all options to stay. The law is broken. The only way you can fix your papers in this country is through family reunification, when you have a husband or siblings or kids that can request for you. CBS News has confirmed through an administration official ICE raids on migrant families are scheduled to start Sunday. That official didn't say where. President Trump sent out a tweet this week saying, next week, ICE will begin the process of removing the millions of illegal aliens who have illicitly found their way into the United States. They will be removed as fast as they come in. And, you know, many of them are from China. Many of them are from other parts of the world that you wouldn't even believe. Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez says county police won't be helping federal agents. Our officers will not be uh, cooperating or participating in any raid activity um, here for the residents of Miami-Dade County. The Florida Immigrant Coalition has a hotline for concerned families. They're also warning people if ICE knocks on the door, don't open it, ask for a warrant, and to remain silent if you're in their custody and to call an immigration attorney. We're doing everything in our power to make sure that every single undocumented person in the city of Miami knows that regardless of their status, they have constitutional rights. They have protections. So this mother will be staying with a friend for the next week, and she's hoping her oldest daughter will become a citizen soon to request that her mother will stay to eventually avoid dodging federal agents. A lot of people think that we want to be here illegally. No. Um, sometimes I speak to people that say, well, do your papers. Go get your driver license. It's not like that. It's not easy. The woman also told me she is afraid to even call 911 for an emergency or even if she witnesses a crime because she says she's in fear of being deported. Now, I also reached out to ICE. A spokesperson told me over the phone that they don't comment on future operations. We are live tonight in Miami. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.